What's up, YouTube? Devin Slate, one, two, three, and finally, finally bringing you the long-awaited season two of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Mode for SmackDown. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this bad boy. I apologize that the video is late. It's just I wanted to do some other projects, and I will be doing other projects along with this. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with the first day for Raw, it I evened out at two and a half stars. With a six-man normal tag match starting it off between Ashley to Sheer. I put my calls in here because some of you have been wanting to see them. To Sheer, Mishinoku, MVP, lost to Great Khali, Finley, and Mark Henry. That was one and a half stars. Next was a ladder singles match where Abyss lost to Edge, one and a half stars. Next was a steel cage single match where Shad beat Robert, which was two stars. Next was a six-man normal attack, six men, where Stone Cold, Rey Mysterio, and Batista lost to Elijah Burke, Carlito, and Alex. And it was two and a half stars. Next was a handicap, one on tag, where Shawn Michaels lost to Rick Rude and William Regal, and that was two and a half stars. So then we move into ECW, and it was three and a half stars for the week. First match in the Steel Cage Fatal 4-Way, where uh, Gregory Helms beat Travis Strife, one of my crawls, and Thomas Wilde and Kenny Dykstra, that was one and a half stars. Next was a triple threat where Snitsky beat Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. That was two stars. Next was a singles manager with manager where CM Punk and Randy Orton lost to The Undertaker and Mr. Kennedy. That was three stars. Next was match four, which is Steel Cage Fatal 4-Way again, where Bobby Lashley beat JTG, Sabu, and Marcus Corbin. That was three stars. And the main event was the ECW Championship Steel Cage match where The Rock beat Roddy Piper to gain the ECW title, and that was four stars. Next we move into SmackDown, and it was three and a half stars as well. And yeah, the first match of the Tag Team Normal Tag were Chris Masters and Umaga beat Sam and Kane. And that was two and a half stars. Next was a singles no manager match where Ric Flair beat Mick Foley. That was three stars. Next was a singles no manager match where King Booker lost to Triple H. That was three stars. Next was a Cruiserweight Championship TLC singles match where Terry Funk beat Johnny Nitro. And that was three stars. And last was a World Heavyweight Championship ladder match between Bret Hart losing to John Cena. And that was four stars. So yeah, we move into the next week, week two, and Raw's rating was three stars. All right, Abyss beat Ashley, that was one star in a singles match. Next is Elimination Tag, where Batista, Shad, and Tashira Michinoku beat Edge, Elijah Burke, and Mark Henry, that was two stars. Next was a hardcore single match, where Stone Cold beat Alex and Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, and it was two and a half stars. Next was a handicap one on tag, where Shawn Michaels beat Rick Rude and William Regal, that was two and a half stars. And the main event was a steel cage triple threat match where the Carlito beat the great Kali and Finley, and that was three stars. Next, we move into ECW, which was three and a half stars for the week. First match was Elimination Tag, where Thomas Strife and Travis, Watt, or Travis uh, lost to Snitsky and Kenny Dykstra, and that was one star. Next was the table, single, the table singles match, excuse me, where Matt Hardy lost to Gregory Helms, two stars. Next was a singles manager with manager with JTG and Sabu beat Bobby Lashley and Mr. Kennedy, two and a half stars. Next was a table, tables tornado tag where The Rock and Jeff Hardy beat Randy Orton and Marcus Corbin. That was three stars. And last was a triple threat match where Roddy Piper beat CM Punk and The Undertaker, and that was three stars. Next we move into SmackDown, and it was three and a half for the week. First match was a hardcore single no manager with manager where Triple H lost King Booker and Chavo Guerrero. That was three stars. Next was a singles no manager match where Johnny Nitro beat Terry Funk. That was three stars. Next was a WWE tag team elimination tag normal tag match where Umaga and Chris Masters lost to the same man and came. That was three stars. Next was a singles no manager match where Bret Hart beat John Cena. And that was three and a half stars. And last was the United States Championship parking lot brawl where Ric Flair beat Mick Foley. And that was four stars. Alright, then we move into week three where Raw's rating was three and a half stars. Abyss and Robert beat MVP and Mark Henry in a tables tornado tag match, one star. Next was a singles match where Tashir Michinoku beat the Great Khali, that was one stars. Next was a tables fatal four-way match where Elijah Burke beat Alex Rey Mysterio and Carlito, that was two and a half stars. Next was an elimination tag match where Shawn Michaels and Batista beat Rick Rude and William Regal, that was three stars. And last was a handicap one on three where Stone Cold lost to Edge, Shad, and Finley, and that was three stars. Then we move into ECW, which was four stars for the week. First match with Thomas Wilde beat Marcus Corbin in a ladder match, one and a half stars. Next was a singles no manager match where Gregory Helms beat Snitsky, that was two stars. Next was a hardcore triple threat where JTG beat Sabu and Bobby Lashley, that was three stars. Next was a hardcore single manager with manager where Roddy Piper and CM Punk beat Undertaker and Mr. Kennedy, that was three and a half stars. 
Next, and the last was the main event. was a parking lot brawl where The Rock lost to Randy Orton. That was four stars. And then we move into SmackDown, which had a show rating of three and a half stars. First was the cha Cruiserweight Championship, first blood match. Terry Funk beat Johnny Nitro. That was three and a half stars. Next was the singles no match with Michael Rick match when, uh, where Ric Flair lost to Mick Foley, and that was three and a half stars. Next was the singles no manager man versus with manager, where Triple H beat Chavo Guerrero and King Booker, that was three stars. Next was the singles manager with manager with Sam Man and Kane lost to Chris Masters and Umaga, three stars. And the main event was a World Heavyweight Championship singles no manager match where John Cena retained against Bret Hart for four stars. Then we move into ECW, the first pay-per-view, which got a show rating of four stars. The first match was a singles match where Thomas lost to Barry Helms, one star. Next was Hell in a Cell Tornado Tag where Travis and Kenny lost to Snitsky and Gabriel, which was one and a half. Ladder Fatal 4-Way match where Jeff Hardy beat Matt Hardy, The Rock, and Randy Orton, three stars. Next was Steel Cage Tornado Tag match where Sabu and Mr. Kennedy beat Bobby Lashley and Marcus Corbon, three and a half stars. Then the main event was a Steel Cage Tornado Tag match where Roddy Piper and CM Punk beat the, or lost to The Undertaker and JTG, three and a half stars. Then we move into Raw for the week, which is three and a half stars. Abyss lost to MVP and Robert, one star. Next was a tables match where Elijah Burke beat the great Khali, two and a half stars. Next is Steel Cage Fatal 4-Way Pin and Give Up match where Carlito beat Alex, Shad, and Rey Mysterio, three stars. Next was Elimination Tag, Normal Tag, where Shawn Michaels and Batista beat Rick Rude and William Regal, three stars. Next was a singles new manager match with manager where Stone Cold lost to Edge and Finley, and that was three stars. Next we move into ECW, which was four stars for the week. Which was the first match was a tag team where Matt Hardy and Thomas Wilde lost to Snitsky and Travis. That was one star. Next was a submission, ultimate submission, where Gary Helms lost to Kenny, two stars. Next is six-man normal tag where JTG, Sabu, and Jeff Hardy beat Mr. Kennedy, Marcus Corbin, Gabriel, Smith, and it was two stars. Next is a tag team normal tag where The Rock and Roddy Piper beat Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, three and a half stars. And the main event was a ladder singles match where CM Punk lost to The Undertaker, which is three and a half stars. Then we move into SmackDown for the week, and it got three and a half stars. First match was a singles manager with manager. Umaga lost to Kane with Chris Masters and Sandman, three stars. Next was a singles no manager match where Kenny or Terry Funk lost to Johnny Nitro, three stars. Next was a United States Championship TLC single where Mick Foley won the United States Championship from Rick Flair. That was four stars. Next was a singles no manager with manager where Triple H beat King Booker and Chavo Guerrero. That was three stars. And the main event was a tables match where John Cena lost to Bret Hart. And that was four stars. Then we move into the last one for today, folks, which is the Backlash pay-per-view. And it was four and a half stars. The first man match was a battle royal, six-man battle royal over the top rope, where Ashley beat Elijah Burke, Robert Roode, MVP, Abyss, and Diesel, and that was two stars. Next was Hell in a Cell, where the Great Khali lost to William Regal, two and a half stars. Next was a handicap one-on-three, where Batista lost to Edge, Shad, and Finley. That was three stars. Uh, next was the World Tag Team Championship Tag Team Match, where Rick Roode and Shawn Michaels lost the titles to Rey Mysterio and Carlito. That was three and a half stars. And the main event was the WWE Ladder Single Match where Stone Cold beat Shawn Michaels and that was four stars. So that's it for right now, folks. I'll be back with more later. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Peace, guys.